My name is uh, Jürgen. Uh, some people call me Jürgs. This is my nickname. Mm. And uh, I am one of the, the owner of this shop, Splash. I'm Helen. And uh, I'm also the other owner of the shop. Okay, and how did you guys come to be owners of the shop? Well, basically, uh, Jürgen called me in the beginning of the year and I've been wanting uh, to open my own shop for a very long time because I've been a distributor for five years now. I started with Helen, this business, Splash, and for, for my first business was exactly one of the, the car business in when I was uh, 18 years old. And it goes, how to say, uh, off because the other partners kick me off in there. It's a good lesson for me. The startup capital comes for my parents. We didn't really need to invest here a lot because uh, we had the, all the displays. And so basically regarding me, I think it has to go back to when I started my Ripco business as a distributor five years ago. So then about a year later, I took some credit from the bank. So I still have a loan uh, from the bank. Exactly now I'm really in a big trouble because uh, as the crisis is still on here in Estonia, so, uh, and I have um, given my products on a commission to, uh, other com to other shops. So now they own me a lot of money and I can't pay to rip curl to bring the new collection. So it's really difficult. <sighs> what can I do? I have to uh, go to uh, the... The firm who collect the money from the others. From the... Collector or something. Collector, yeah. Yeah. So basically lawyers and things. So there is no other way at the moment. So it's really stressful. <laughs> Yes, and for me too, because it's uh, very important for this shop. If we don't have a new equipment, new stuff, we have big troubles. Yeah. I do windsurf and kitesurf, both. And of course, it, if it's a windy day, we, we discuss Helen, who... Who, who will go. Yeah, <laughs> who will go. And that, does that make it all worthwhile in the end? <laughs> I think so, but the, the thing is that since we started this shop together, we haven't had a really a lot of chances to go out there and windsurf or kite surf. So, but I I I know that for myself, if I go there, I really like it, and uh, you, know, you can't compare it with anything. For about uh, two years ago, it was impossible to go windsurfing every time or kite surfing every time you want, because the People have money and they come to the shop and they do lots of shopping and buy new gear. But now, and now it's not impossible. I don't know anybody who started a business uh, before independence. All the new, all the businesses uh, started just exactly when we got the independence. Mm -hmm. 91, 92, 93. It was a very strange time. Yeah, it was a strange time. I think, yeah, the one reason was that... Um, there more there was more cash flow so it came in again from abroad as well and and um, also i think people started to think what we could export as well so and then the money came and then yes, everybody so thought that oh okay but in it goes very fast and yeah was export possible before independence when russians were still involved no. no, I don't think so. Not really. We were really like uh, living in a box. <laughs> it was everything was impossible. We even didn't uh, have the possibility to look uh, other programs on TV than Estonian and uh, Russian, and maybe some Finnish. But that's mm. all. What made you start businesses instead of going out and working for someone else or any of the other many many things you could do? Well, I worked for another comp for for in 
for uh, three in other company before I started my own business. And I really don't want to work for anybody anymore <laughs> because the freedom, the freedom is you can't, um, you can't like, um, how do you say? It's something you can't, you don't want to change it. It's the feeling is so good to be free and to do whatever you want. So that's it. <laughs>